Views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. Something smells good. I wonder what Lynn's cooking today. Hey, Lynn, what's cooking? Now here's your host, Lynn Austin. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hey, Lynn, What's Cooking? And in the kitchen today is my daughter, Katie. Because, of course, it's the month of May, and we are celebrating Mother's Day. So it's Mama's Favorites, because I believe that the whole month of May I should celebrate. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. <laughs> like my birthday month, it's the whole month, not just the day. Come on. But today we are going to honor, if your mama is not around, I have wanted to honor my mom as well with some of her favorites. So we're going to... Get this started with one of my favorites is a mimosa. So I'm calling it a what? A mama. Mama's mimosa. <laughs> yes. So yours is going to be a kind of a mocktail with a little bit of carbonated lemon strawberry juice with a little bit of cranberry juice. And why do we put the cherry in the bottom, Katie? So you can make a wish when you finish it. Yes. I always like that. I'm going to make this a little bit lighter for you. And then in mine is going to go, see the regular orange mimosa, I don't, because I'm not, I mean, I'll drink orange juice, but I'm not really a fan of orange juice, so I like cranberry juice. So I'm going to put a little bit of cranberry juice in here. Just a little bit, because I like more champagne in mine. <laughs> so mine might be a little bit lighter. So yeah, this is like my favorite drink at on Christmas morning. Ooh, oh, oh no. perfect. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Set that over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Okay. I like this on Thanksgiving morning, Christmas morning, Mother's Day, Father's Day, no, just kidding. <laughs> month of May, um, every Sunday, no, <laughs> Sunday brunch. Here's to a wonderful month of May to my daughter because she's very special to me and I love her with all my heart <laughs> and here's to my mama who's up there so happy Mother's Day happy Godmother's Day to all the women out there mm -hmm. happy month of May mm -hmm. oh yeah that's good that's really good that's good okay one more second <laughs> okay. mm. mm-hmm and I like to use a dry champagne. I was going to say shampoo. That would not be good. Uh, dry champagne with that because you're putting the sweet juice in there. So it's not too sweet because I don't do sweet. Because I'm not sweet. Okay. Yes, you are. I know I am. <laughs> okay. Let's move your drink over here. So first we're going to get started with one of my favorites is a puffy pancake. And the reason why we're going to get started first, if you can bring me those items over here, the pans. We have pie plates, and to the pie plates we have a half a stick of butter that's been divided between two plates, and I'm gonna explain why, why in a second. And we have the batter, and to the batter, it's been sitting out for about a half an hour because it needs to just kind of rest to do its thing, is simply four eggs, beaten, one cup of milk, and then one cup of flour and you just leave it on the counter for about a half an hour. So that's been sitting and doing its thing, and we've warmed up the oven to 475 because it's really, really hot, and we're gonna melt the butter first, and when the, you gotta kinda keep an eye on it till the, the butter's melted, and then we're gonna take them out and then add the batter, and then these pancakes are just gonna, it's like magic, it's just gonna go right up the sides, and it's beautiful, and oh my gosh, I love them, they're so much fun. And they, they're thin, they are thin pancakes, so we're gonna add these, to the oven and they're going to do their thing and melt that butter and while these are melting I'm melting I'm melting. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me have another swig of my mimosa and then the jokes will get better. Okay, we're just gonna set this aside and wait for that butter to melt. So it's gonna be like a couple minutes. So in the meantime, we are gonna move over to my mom's favorite dessert, go-to recipe for holidays, any, any holiday. Um, holiday squares, <laughs> simply called holiday squares. Um, and this is so easy. The batter is so easy. We've had two sticks of butter softening at room temperature that are ready in the mixture and two in the mixer. And to that, we're going to add a cup and a half of sugar. So if you want to put the sugar in there, sweetie. Yep, that's the half. And then that's the cup. To the two sticks of butter here. I didn't say they were locale, so I'm just kind of like <laughs> sweet for a sweet. Now we're going to. Can you put that up to the mixing? There we go, awesome. Low speed. Awesome. Now we're gonna get the cream, get it creamed up, the sugar and the butter. We're just gonna kick this up just a second. Oh my goodness. I know, that goes fast, right? Okay, so that's light and fluffy. Okay, now to that, Katie, I would like you to add four eggs one at a time. Okay. Okay, can you do that? And in this bowl, we have we have the eggs going with the cream, and there are two cups of flour. I almost forgot how much flour. I've made this so many times I forgot. And we're just gonna whisk this together. There's nothing else in this flour. We're just making it a little bit lighter by whisking it. My mom used to sift it, but that was in the day that they didn't realize you could just take a plain whisk when they says to um, sift and just make it light and airy with the whisk. So mama, I made it a little bit simpler for you. Simplicity. Okay. Two cups of flour. Now you added the eggs. Right? And you know, right now we're going to stop one second here and we're just going to check our butter in these pans for the puffy pancakes. And we have a couple more seconds. See how that is melting in the pans because it's on such a high temperature? Very high temperature. Okay. To the two sticks of butter and the cup and a half of sugar, we're going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Okay, now we will add, flour. you can just put that on the down, is it very good, and just Up add the, the two cups of flour. Just get it all in there. It's okay if you missed a little bit, it's all right. I won't okay, tell you. Okay, you want to finish that <laughs> It's all right. Just, there, all you got to do is just job. pat the, well, thank you. Okay, put it right back up there. Start Love. slow, slow. Why do we wanna, start slow? You don't want to splash the flour. Right, if you don't have your guard up there, you just don't want the flour to go, whoo, and then be all like, oh, we have flour all over the place, which could be fun, but, okay, we put the lemon juice in there. Now we're just gonna kick it up just a minute and just let it go. Let it do its thing. It's doing its thing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and we're done. Okay, we're going to let that come down and let the batter come off of the beater a little bit. I'm going to put that over there and this over here. And then we're going to check our pans because that butter should be melted. Be then I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going to happen with these pans. Perfect. All right. Now remember, these are really, really, really hot. You can hear the sizzle from the butter. The other one out, and like I am having an instant hot flash because this oven is so hot. Okay. Woo! All right. 
Now we're going to put this over here on its side for just a second. Get back to that in a minute. Okay, so now we're going to kind of move the butter around in the pan like so, so all the sides get coated. And it's very hot. Okay, move that over just a little bit more. Then we're going to divide up the batter between the two pans. It's still sizzling. And the oven is still on at 475. And this is so cool. This is like one of, just one of my favorites. And I just go back and forth, putting the dough in so it's evenly divided here. You're going to be so impressed. How, well, you know how these turned out. Everybody else will be impressed. <laughs> in here and get these back in the oven so you guys can see the magic. Now my mom would not be very happy because I'm about to do something just for time's sake. I'm about to put the bowl back over here without scraping it. So, sorry mom. Okay, put that over there. Thank you. And we're going to return these back into the oven. Very, very important because they just didn't start off with a cool pan. These are very hot pans. So you need to use your pan holders <laughs> to, to put them back in the oven. And trust me, why do I say that? Because I've done it. So you need to make sure that your hands are protected. And these are gonna go back in for about 12 to 15 minutes. And we're gonna check on them and you're gonna be so surprised on what they do. Okay, Katie, see? Such simple ingredients for those, really. I mean, it's just crazy ingredients. Milk, flour, and eggs. And That's it. And it's like fun. Isn't okay. there butter in it? Well, the butter is in the pan. Oh, yeah. See? I'm just gonna clean this off a minute, and we're gonna get back to our cherry squares. Just gonna put those right here in anticipation of those coming out. We'll just wait for those. And then to end it, we're going to make hash browns. And I know how much you love to use the waffle maker. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make hash browns in the waffle maker. Ooh. Isn't that cool? Yes. So those will be cooking in there. We have a done one already over there because they take a few minutes to cook. Because these are um, fresh potatoes that I have shredded. So it's really cool. I made my own yeah. hash browns. <laughs> Yay! But, you know, it's Mother's Day, so you're actually going to... Do this one Mother's Day month, of course. Mm -hmm. So let's move back to our cherry squares. Okay. I was concentrating on taking a sip of that. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you wouldn't mind passing me my jelly roll pan. And what I did, I've kind of changed this up a little bit. Um, my mom didn't do this, but I do this now. Is I grease the pan with shortening, and then I add a layer of parchment paper to that and add a little bit more of the shortening on top so they will not stick and they're easier to slice and then come out of the pan. So now we're going to add, and this is a very thin, you're thinking that you're not going to have enough batter, but you will because this is a thin, thin batter that just puffs up. And in a few minutes we'll check those pancakes there. Puffy pan. I think it's a fun name too, like uh -huh. Puffy Pancake. I like fun names. Uh -huh. Like mimosa. <laughs> just fun. <laughs> like if you're going to have a mimosa, you just know it's just a fun name. You just know it's going to be fun. Like Puffy Pancake. <laughs> Hash browns. That's, I mean, they're good, but the name's not as fun as everybody else, but it's okay. Okay, I'm not using my fingers right now because we're on TV. Otherwise, my hands would be all over this beer. <laughs> so we're just going to, like, Grandma would be like, look at all that batter on there that you're wasting. Okay, Mom, I'm just putting it right over here. <laughs> oh, just me? Set, yep, yep, you. Where? Just set it in the sink there. You're fine, babe. We're going to scrape all this goodness out of this bowl right into our pan. I like to 
section it off here. So then when I spread it, it's a little bit easier to do. Like so, there we go. What do you like about the month of May and Mother's Day? What do you What do you like about celebrating your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Just Mother's Day or May in general? Just May in general. I mean, I'm well, using my finger. It's okay, the end I went of and used school, my finger. So I like that. Right. And I just like how it's the start of summertime. And I don't know. I just like. Celebrating Mother's Day. Okay, so what do you what do you like to celebrate about your mom? What what's the uh, thing that you like to celebrate about me? What's your like awesomeness? Oh, oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, we can put that over there. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna start. Oh, you know what? Let me back the spatula. There we go. Thank you. We're just gonna spread this. And then we get to do a fun thing. We get to make 20 squares on this pan, and then we're gonna put our canned cherries in the middle of each square. Now, if you don't want the cherries and you don't care for cherries, you can use strawberry. peach, strawberry, but then you would change the name. It wouldn't be cherry squares, so you could call it Well, it's called strawberry. holidays. Well, holiday squares, but then it also my mom used to call it cherry squares too. So that's, but you can do peach, you can do strawberry, blueberry. Ooh, blueberry. You could do half and half, mm -hmm. like 4th of July. You can do blueberry, yeah, strawberry, cherry. Oh, oh my gosh, you can do so many different things. <laughs> that would be kind of fun to do like a blueberry, Make it strawberry. Look like a flag. Yeah. Apple. Mm -hmm. That would be patriotic. Okay, so now we just gotta evenly, see I told you there would be enough batter in here to spread the whole pan. See how I did that? I dropped it in three different sections so it was a little bit easier to spread and a little bit quicker. These are great to bring to any type of celebration, cookout, Mother's Day dinner, Mother's Day little treat in the afternoon with a cup of tea after mimosas. So you can have tea and holiday squares. Mm -hmm. Who says you have to have dessert at dinner? You can have it in the middle of the afternoon. Mm -hmm. It's your month. We can do whatever <laughs> we want to do. <laughs> what do you like about Mother's Day? What do I like about Mother's Day? Well, I have a hard time letting go of control, you know that. So it's really hard for me not to be in the kitchen. You know it's really hard for me not to be in the kitchen. But I like to reflect. I like to think about my mom. I like to think about all my accomplishments and my two big accomplishments, meaning my children and my husband being married for so long. And it's just awesome. Awesome, we're using that word a lot. Awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I am going to head back to the oven for just a brief moment mm -hmm. and see what our, hopefully our puffy pancakes are puffing. I'm going to put that in the sink. Don't lick it because you're on TV. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, Ooh. look at them. Look at the fun in the oven. I love <laughs> that. Okay. There's so many different things that I like that excite me. They're so simple. It's just, they're really, I'm just so easy. Okay, now we need to do 20 squares. So we're just gonna go like this. And my squares never turn out like my mom's did because she like would measure and I don't, so some may be bigger than others, but nobody's judging because it's Mother's Day month, so right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And now we will add our cherries. Do you want to add a little bit to each one? Sure. Okay. And you can see ours are done right there. They're going to bake. We're going to put this in the oven. And this goes into a 350 oven. So after our puffy pancakes come out, then I'll put that in the oven and adjust the temperature to that. Perfect. And since it is Mother's Day, I will just kind of watch you there. Take a sip of my <laughs> champagne. Hmm, good job. Thank you. Doesn't that look pretty mm -hmm. when they bake up? And then when they're all done and cooled, then you just sprinkle with powdered sugar. Easy, easy, easy. Love things that are easy. Perfect, Katie. All done? Well, no, you have the rest of them. And then we're going to move on to our hash browns. And these, like, you can buy store-bought shredded hash browns, but... I decided I had some potatoes in the pantry and I was going to shred my own hash browns and I did so those were all ready for you <laughs> and like when when it is Mother's Day on that Saturday I will have everything just magically that I love will be in the refrigerator all ready to go <laughs> okay perfect now if you have some cherries left you can add don't don't be stingy that's a good thing you did you evenly divided it now go back and see this little guy right here, he only has three. And this one, just, you know, don't, don't make him feel left out here. Give him, some, give him some love and finish off the cherries. Perfect. Like this guy up here, he only has three too. He'll be upset his neighbor has a little bit more. Right there. Awesome. We're gonna set those two things aside and when those puffy pancakes come out, this is going to be lowered to 350 oven, and these are going to bake for about 40 to 45 minutes, and they will just come up, the batter will come up around the cherry squares themselves, like that. And then when they're cooled, then you add the powdered sugar, and mmm, delicious. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell you're my daughter. Okay, let's set that aside and check on our puffy pancake. Which, oh, okay, a couple more minutes. I would say as soon as we're done with these, putting these hash browns in the waffle maker, they'll be ready to go. Okay, so we have the shredded, oh, just shredded waffles, <laughs> shredded potatoes, because I love hash browns. And to that, I would like you to add a pinch of salt. You can make a bigger pinch. Go to that a bit more. Okay, this is heating up the waffle maker. And if you don't have a waffle maker, just use it on a griddle, whatever you choose. Okay. And now to that, we're going to add some fresh ground pepper. I love that. Love fresh ground pepper. Love the sound of that. Okay. And to that mixture, we're just going to add a little bit of oil. Now, I use canola. You can use um, olive oil, whatever oil you have. And then I also coated the waffle iron with that as well. And Katie, we're just going to, I will put it in there. And if you want to do the honors of flipping it, just okay. like you would do your waffle, we're just going to turn that up a little bit. We're going to spread that evenly through the waffle maker. And these take a while because they're raw potatoes, so just be patient. Okay, you can do your thing right there. Go ahead. And I'm going to check these. And these are golden brown and they're ready to come out. So you ready to flip that and let's leave that on its own? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Voila! Ooh. The puffy pancake! There's one. Now that one came out perfect. You never know how it's going to go off the side, but this one's good. We'll just put it this way. Some of it didn't rise on that side. But there we go. Aren't those fun? Mm -hmm. And we're going to lower that oven. Three, Cancel, bake. 
350 and the cherry screws can go in and we're going to do a toast. You want to pass me that pan? Mmm, that smells so good. And then what we're going to do, you can add fresh fruit to these, some powdered sugar. It is endless. Whatever you like. You can even crumble some bacon on top of that. They're so syrup. Oh, whatever you like. Would you like to get a little plate? and try a cherry square, because that's what I would have. I would love to. Mm -mm -mm. And our hash browns, you can hear them sizzling. Oh yeah, they're cooking. So do you think you can um, pull this breakfast off by yourself, with your brother's help and your dad's help? Yes, with some help I could. <laughs> okay, that's good, let's put that over there, and we will try a cherry square. Move that. Our hash brown, this is a done one right here. And I just sprinkled some sharp cheddar cheese over it with some bacon on top and some um, parsley, dried that parsley. So that looks really, really good. And here are our cherry squares. Let me see. Put this. Do you want a whole one or do you want to split one with mom? I'll split one. Okay. See, the center mm. baked around the cherry. It's perfect. Okay. Thank you. you are welcome. That there and our hash brown. Now that is celebration of mm -hmm. love, right? Let's try that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And that is a childhood memory for your mom. It's Grandma Josephine's favorite one to make. And oh my gosh, I love that. So tasty. So tasty. Our hash browns are going. You can see the steam from the hash browns, the potatoes. It's cooking. It's not burning, I promise you. So Katie, here is a toast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> here is a toast to you and help you for helping me in the kitchen and everything that you do. I love you and I'm so proud of you. I love you too. <laughs> and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and godmothers and grandmothers and aunts and just to women in general. Happy Mother's Day. Happy month of May. Cheers. And that's what's cooking on Halen What's Cooking. Mm -hmm.